Hi everyone, Tom back here today with another review. This one being another Savage Strike figure in the Camp Cretaceous branding. So as you can see, it is the Monolophosaurus, a figure which has arguably had a pretty interesting release history. Uh, initially joining the Battle Damage line in the very first wave, this figure then went on to become a Savage Strike figure that was incredibly hard to track down. Um, and then is re-released here in Savage Strike form with a repaint of the prior sculpt. So really interesting colour scheme for this one in the packaging. I like how it kind of merges into the golden backdrop a little bit. If we twist it around you can see a better look at the dinosaur in the packaging there. You have also got the Camp Cretaceous um, little puzzle and stickers included as well. Down in the corner... We have got the Plesiosaurus, the Stiggy Monarch and Delta. And that is kind of it for the packaging in a nutshell. You know, you've seen this Camp Cretaceous um, Savage Strike packaging plenty of times at this point. So I don't really want to waste time talking about it any further. Instead, let's very gently cut the figure out here and take a look at the Monolophosaurus. So I do have the previous version of this figure to create a comparison to. We're just going to zoom in and get this one in shot. So I think we will actually start with the comparison because this is a sculpt that I've never been a huge fan of purely because my original figure really struggles to stand. I mean, I've managed to get it to do it now. But there you go. So you can see, interestingly enough, the original figure, this yellow colour scheme that was used for the kind of crest area, is actually the bulk pattern colour scheme on this new version. And then the red that was kind of almost the primary colour of the original has been swapped for a darker red, which is now the crest. So an interesting continuity of colour there that I wasn't expecting. Um, comparing them both, you can see that they are drastically very, very different. This one is obviously the orange colour scheme, um, a lot lighter, a lot more vibrant, whereas the newer one is a lot darker. And I have to admit, I really like the eye paint on the new one as well. So we will take the comparison away and let's take a look at the new version of the Monolophosaurus. So bringing the figure in, look at that face straight off the bat. That eye with the little black pupil is incredibly well painted, gets the same level of attention on both sides, looks really, really good. You've got some nice red patterning all around the crest and feeding into that mainly red coloured crest there. You've got some nice sort of maroon details for the jaw, the gums and the tongue. If we twist it around to that side you'll get a better look. Again, really nice detail for that eye there, really well executed. And that then feeds into this nice yellow sort of mustard colour is the best description I can give you. Which is all of the patterning along the figure's back. You get this really prominent patterning, but Mattel have done something nice where there's kind of this like dark greeny browny colour here, as you can see for like the main bulk of the figure. You can see the real colour of the plastic there is almost black. Um, but they've like watered down the mustard colour and merged it. So there's a really nice paint merge effect where it kind of, it, it would almost work well as an effect for coating a dinosaur in mud is how I can describe it to you. It's kind of got this really nice extra layer of paint on top, you can kind of see it there, that just really helps to merge these colours and make that merge a lot more natural than, than the transitions that some of the other colours in the line have seen. So a really nice evolution of paint application there. Um, really, really impressed with how well that all blends and kind of looks very, very naturalistic. Now, the figure itself... Again, much like its other Savage Strike counterparts, no painted toenails. Don't really think this one needs them in this instance. You can see they look pretty good as they are. Um, kind of that darker colour is all on the underbody of the figure as well. The underjaw. And then the rest is again, like I say, that kind of merged mustardy colour. 
Now, like you can see, Monolophosaurus, like I said, is a dinosaur that does struggle to stand. Um, you kind of have to have it in a very, very specific pose, like this pose here. And if you move it from that pose at all, then it really does struggle. Um, with that said, we are about to make it struggle because we're going to take a look at the articulation. So the Monolophosaurus, you can swivel the legs forward and back, bring them in and out, but I recommend keeping them in their predefined positions. Then you get a ball joint on the arms, which lets you bring it in and out, and you can swivel them forward and back as well. And that's really it for the Monolophosaurus, the play feature is it can bite, as you can see quite nicely there. Doesn't quite close the jaw all the way, don't really want to force that, but it works well enough as it is. And obviously, like every figure in this assortment, this character is part of the Dino Fax app. If we just help the camera with focusing there, so you can see that there. And with that said, I think the Monolophosaurus is a very strong repaint. This is an example of a good repaint that does something very different to the previous release. So it really helps to stand out when you compare it to that initial version of the dinosaur that we received. I really, really like this one. Ironically enough, I expected to like the Stiggy Moloch more and I like it less. And I expected to like this one less and I like it more. So really cool figure absolutely recommend picking this one up if you come across it and do make sure you come back for our third and final look at the new savage strike line so far which will of course be the repaint of the plesiosaurus thank you so much for checking this video out guys make sure to like favorite subscribe do all the good stuff you guys always do and until the next time take care and have a great week